like watching the delay. I know. Like, are we? I know. We can always do it on your phone. Are we live? Are we not live? Give a minute for people to hop on. When you hop on, say hey so that we know people are watching. So I'm going to tell you. Well, kind of funny story. It was hilarious to me. Probably not that funny. So this morning, I have battling with my shoes. So I'm one of those people that like once I wear flip flops, I can't just like go straight to like shoes and not do it. I go from flip flop flip flops to toms with no socks to toms with socks. And then to like boots and socks. Like I cannot jump straight. My feet get all claustrophobic and freak out. Well, yesterday, you know, I wore tongs in here and I was like dying of heat stroke. It was so hot. And yeah. I was like, oh, my feet aren't ready. So this morning I was like, I wear boots or I wear sandals. I was battling. I was like, I'm going with sandals, even though it's like 30 degrees. Well, I'm glad I did because it's like 100 in here. But so then I get a little a snap from my little friend Jenny and drove from her house in the orchard all the way to Clarksburg to her job and she goes to get out of the car and she's wearing slippers and <laughs> like moccasin slippers but she works in an office where you, she can't even wear jeans and so here she's she's like so I can drive all the way home so I'm not the only one that's having a shoe that she is this morning funny. but I'm I wearing that because not because like I feel like and she's always cold too so it's like I had to wear my slippers this so I could definitely <laughs> see that and then um, Shanna's wearing the flip flops, so yep. we're good. I'm glad I did because it's warm. And I went straight from sandals. I thought I was going to wear sandals longer, but I'm not cold, so. Well, and then next week it's supposed to be like 70 or something. Who knows? You might be wearing sandals again. Mm. Who knows? All right, probably not. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, the river 103.9. They do sports, then we change it. Hey, Melinda. Hey, Katie. Laddie. Hope you're all healed up. Oh, did she ever send you? Laddie? I didn't get my treats either. Wounds are no excuse. <laughs> we kind of want to see what your arm looks like <laughs> since you burnt it last week. A little morbid, but that's kind of what we want to do. Um, real quick. Well, real quick. Yeah. Okay, so I'll give my little spiel. So, um, I'm Megan, Casey, Jana from STV. It What's in the Shop Wednesday. Every Wednesday we hop on and tell you all the new stuff that's come in for the last week. Um, give you announcements for uh, what's happening and just kind of chat with you guys. I'm saying this, but we really need to get back to Top of Tuesday. Oh, you know what I got this idea of? So, when we have people come in, I should surprise them with a question of the day on video. So funny, Shanna's like, well, because the customer, I would stab you. I would never come in here. But well, I mean, I would ask them, like, hey, can we do right. this? And yeah. like, you know, oh, well, yes. I would like, surprise you. I think it would be usually like our regulars that come in all the time. We can be like, we can figure out like a question of the day. It'd be fun. Anyways, random. Um, okay, so everything that we're gonna talk about today is in the online store, in the app, um, in the physical store here. Um, we are doing comments. Um, I'll tell you about it here in a second, but basically it's just an extra kind of avenue for you guys to purchase. There's so many, we're in the Facebook. I mean, you can buy directly from our Instagram, directly from our Facebook, in store, everywhere. But this, um, the comments selling basically while we're talking about it, you can kind of call dibs. You can call dibs on something pretty much and without having to leave the video. So, um, or if you don't want to do that, you can actually go to the online store and just purchase through there. So the way the comment selling works is when we're talking about an item, um, Casey's going to click a button and a little banner will come up across the top. And, um, it will say comment sold. It'll have a three digit number and then it'll show you the sizes that are available. And if it, the size is crossed out, it's not a big deal. So if you want, say the first item, it's say, you sold 100, SM for small. Um, the two 
letter brief three, whichever is whatever it says up on there, do it exactly like that. Um, and you'll have one hour to pay. Um, just so that we make sure we're not holding stuff for people who actually aren't gonna purchase and follow and um, gives everybody else a chance. So um, if you call dibs on it, basically comment sell and, or comment sold and you don't buy or just say within an hour, it kicks back to the next person. There's also a link in the of um, the video that tells you or that you can go to the link and it'll give all the products that we're talking about today. So just lots of different ways. I don't want people to think you have to purchase while you're watching the video um, or you'll miss out because you can just do it like normal through the online store. So just an extra little way to do things. So. cardigans we had major we were like oh sorry no oh. i don't know good morning good morning it's your mom um we what this is going to be called this color and we should have called it terracotta i can't remember who said it but that's it looks like a terracotta pot doesn't it like mm -hmm. the color she's all i was trying to say i'm like i feel like that's a word Probably, because she probably has a pot. Yeah. But, it's like a croc. You know what a croc is? Oh, you missed it. Oh. You know what a croc is? A what? A croc. Like crocs? Like shoes? That's what I thought. My, or like, my other grandma was like, okay, croc you have those crocs? Like, no, I do not own crocs. <laughs> and she's like, I gave you some crocs. And I was like, like, what are you talking about? And they're like, the They've had them forever, but they gave them to me. It was something that I could keep of theirs. And they're like these, like, barrel type things made out of clay. Anyways, I was gonna decorate with them, but I did not know they were called Crocs. I was like, oh yeah, they're in my garage. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of that. Yeah, anyways, I don't know exactly what you do with them. Are they like planning pots or like maybe? <laughs> I don't know. They're big pots. Maybe you make things with in them. Like you should ask. Me. I don't know. I should know. Uh, so so off topic, I know. Lot, well, kind of. I mean, not really terracotta, crock, whatever. <laughs> um, so Davenport yeah. couch. I know what that is. This is what my grandma always said. That's what my grandma calls them. Um, anyway. Okay, continue. <laughs> so. So we had lots of debate on Instagram and Facebook on the stories about what this color was going to be called. And there was mauve and coral and like just a lot of, a lot of different colors. I just went with dark rose. I'm not sure why, but because I, I don't know. Like, what is that? The pot? Mm -hmm. Like what kind? Of thing? She's like, like a pot. Like, pot. <laughs> like a, you know, like the orange color. They're kind of orange colored. <laughs> They're like kind of orange colored, like planting pots, you know. You don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I was your phone. You probably should pull that. It's more has like a pinkishy, corally kind of versus orange, but still. Anyways, it's really pretty. No matter what you want to call it, I don't care what you call it. It's really pretty. We have it as dark rose. Um, it's just like the black one that we had. <laughs> I know what wow. I'm talking about. <laughs> I didn't know that's what they were called. I think like, is it the color or like, I don't know if it's. This is definitely not that color though. No, it's similar. Yeah. I think it's like pottery. Oh, it's a type of color. Um, I always just call them the clay pots at home, so. <laughs> right, yeah. Anyways, now that everyone's no, terracotta excited. clay. It's oh, a certain kind of okay. clay. Okay, I was like, I think I called them clay. You're not wrong. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 
dance. We had the black one that we released uh, last week, oh, I think. Yeah. Um, we told you guys about them. So they have um, like this kind of design on the front, and then is like straight design like this. They're buttoned. We what, Mr. Rogers? We decided they're kind of like Mr. Rogers. But it's got like a boyfriend. I'm calling it a boyfriend cardigan. It's like a you can call it a grandpa sweater if you want. Mr. Rogers, whatever. Either way, they're really cute and they're really comfy. And we're kind of obsessed with them. Um, we have black. Comment. If there's anything that we need to address. Um, <laughs> Natalie said, my mom has been across. My mom is white. What are they for, Natalie? What are Crocs for? Yeah. Not shoes. They're like cream. My grandma's like creamish gray. I want to see a picture and I want to know what they are for. <laughs> I mean, I had them. Shannon's going to be the... Apparently that's my job today. <laughs> I, I had them um, in my garage just because that's what I read with my, like, you guys are my grandparents stuff. But I don't know what they are. Anyways. Okay, so... Anyways, this color we have, I think, small, large, and extra large. This one. Left. Yeah, we got. Uh, we have it in dark burgundy, and we have it paired here with our ash mustard v-neck, which we will um, show you the v-neck number here in just a minute. But this is really, really dark burgundy, so exactly the same. Um, small throughout, extra large, and, well, I don't know what we have left in this, but we ordered small through extra large in all of these, and um, um, Katie said, you guys are glitchy. Oh, it's like timing out. I know, I don't know. I can't really reset our internet, so we just kind of have to... Uh, Lindsay said casserole baking, Natalie yes, more cream, a crock short for crockery food, or revolution, a crock back in the day. Okay, that's what I thought they were for food. Preserving vegetables, Ooh. cucumbers, cabbage, yeah. or for cooking. They're big though. Or, yeah. Yeah, like a casserole dish, or like they're Basically, not? Basically, yeah. But they're big? Like, to me it's like they're like a barrel. It is. So. That's what it looks like. Ginormous yeah, family. They're like, they're like this tall. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Those like canisters. But like mine, I'm, my grandpa was on a dairy farm, so people are saying very glitchy. Well, we can start over and reset the internet, or we can just kind of go with it. So, hang on. I'm going to tap some stuff here. Let me see. I don't think it's gonna do us any good, but. Nope, not doing us any good. Yeah, we're like all over the place. Well, go with it. And so does that mean when people watch my back, it's gonna be like this? Mm -hmm. Or do you guys just wanna stop and start completely over? Just want us to stop and start and reset the internet and see if we can start over. Or do you want to keep going? Everybody who's watching, reset. I wonder if it's delaying. Totally, like it's not even. Me moving. Yeah, it's going. Okay, we're all right, friends. We're back. Well, difficulties. 
Apparently our internet thinks that we don't know the passwords, even though everyone else is on the is on our Wi-Fi. So um, I'm gonna post both videos. Let me know if we're glitchy on this one. If we are, there's nothing I can do. Um, and we're just gonna continue. I'm really kind of sad because our intro on our other video was pretty fun. So I'm gonna leave both of them up there. <laughs> um, if you guys can see, oh, there we go. Okay, hey Barbie. Okay, so we're back, um, part two. We only got through one and a half items before the internet crapped out on us. So we're just gonna, we're gonna go with it. So um, if you didn't hear my um, description about you can go back and watch the first video. <laughs> um, uh, boyfriend, cable, button, Mr. Rogers, <laughs> cardigan, a uh, really pretty dark burgundy color. Uh, what I, that's what I think is we brought in small through extra large in all of these. And if you guys really like them, we can get them in plus sizes. Um, but we just didn't want to bring in a full run because we have so many plus size stuff right now. Uh, we want to make sure that everybody likes them before we really like overstock on them. So. Um, so we have the dark rose color and the burgundy, and we have mustard. And I know that this was a big hit um, when I posted about lots of people commenting on it. Um, I don't know how many how many we got left. One medium, two large, two extra large. Okay. So in size wise, um, Shanna can wear an extra large. Casey wears a small. I wear a small. Um, they're, they are stretchy and there's lots of room and Shanna had room in the arms and I mean, obviously she's not gonna be able to button it. Um, but I mean, she could button it around the waist, just not up here. <laughs> so, um, so anyways, these are running really big. Um, we're not running really big, but they're able to fit a bunch of sizes. Kayla said much better. Okay, good. Thanks for coming back and hanging with us for the second time. Hopefully this one's better. I'm not as funny though because I'm irritated that <laughs> our internet was not working. <clears throat> okay. Um, no whole can can skinnies. Everybody always wants these in the fall and the winter so you can wear them to work. We had last week we had the two button um, Olivia I think and these ones are the Kylie's. Um, they're a lot like our what do, they, what do we call them? Lola's. They're a lighter um, wash, and we had those like all of last fall and winter that did really, really, really well. These are the same cut, they're just different colors. Um, same rise, same inseam, all that. So this is just a little bit darker. And I, we brought these in, I think sizes like three through 15. If you haven't tried on can cans, you should. They're amazing. Super stretchy, super comfy, and a lot of people can size down, which is always a bonus. These, let me tell you about these bought these for myself. I actually did take some home, but I have to wash them and dry them because they're still too long. Oh, really? so short. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to tack them like up underneath. Okay, so our Alyssa jeans from a while back when we did the camo um, hoodie, both girls were wearing them. They were these jeans, but they were a 34 inch inseam, which is really long for a lot of people. Even these guys who were wearing, well, Shannon was wearing slats, but you were wearing heels and it was still, they were still pretty long. I brought in 32 inches. Theme, um, of those I'm so excited these are so comfortable they come up like right up over here they fit absolutely like I love the rise on them they fit perfect um, they're so stretchy so soft so comfy and they're not destroyed um, so you should be able to wear them you know to work if you can wear jeans to work you should be able to wear them um, they are they're calling them boot cut but they do have a little bit of a flare but they're not like well they're not bell bottoms but they definitely do flare they're like a slim through the leg and then kind of flare like from here, kind of like these basically. Um, sizes, I think one through 15, we got in these ones. Uh, five. Five? Oh, they're on the bottom. Yep, you're right. Oh, that's weird. Oh, they the just one them. Three, yeah. Probably because I had to add them, I bet. They just one, didn't rearrange them. Um, so in the 32 inch, we have sizes one through 15, and then in the 34 <laughs> inch inseam, we have extra large 2X and 3X. Thank you. And they are so comfy. And if you need boot cut jeans, they're amazing. Come try them on. Basics. Long sleeve basics. So, show this one first. Um, these, okay, last year we had our perfect tees, our long sleeve perfect tees, but they were really long, right? Everybody agreed that they were really long. They're really fit though. They fit in the bust and kind of like float off really well. 
Um, this is this brand we brought in two years ago, I think, and um, this was a really big hit um, for our long sleeves. The reason we didn't bring this brand in last year is because they weren't available. Um, so we brought in the the perfect tees, but then these ones are back. So we brought these ones in. They're long sleeve. They're fitted in the bust and kind of like a fit and flare kind of style down here. They're not super long. They're pretty much like a good fit. I feel like some people could tie them in a knot if you wanted, or uh, it covers my butt. Tuck them in, but not like super long. I can't see my butt. I mean, they're not. <laughs> I feel like that's super long. I mean, for me, I guess. Well, but these aren't as long as the perfect tees from last year. No, I'm trying to think. Were they the V-neck? No. They were just oh, like the crew yeah, necks, yeah, but yeah, they yeah. were the long sleeve. They're yeah. like really long. No, yeah, these ones aren't as long, but I mean, you could wear leggings with them. Depending on your size, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we run in sizes small through 3X. Um, pretty much, they're like a loose fit around, you know, in the waist area um, with your normal size. They have a glow off the chest. We brought in this wine color and um, this navy color as of right now, um, just because we figured these would go really well with like our mustard vests and um, our olive vests and some of the other black vests, like a lot of the stuff we have in stock right now, um, these would go good with them. I think we have six, five or six other colors we'll be checking in um, over the next couple weeks. Uh, but right now we've got these and they're really soft, really comfy, and they have a really, really good fit. And they're all the sizes. Do you want to talk about them? Yeah. <laughs> you need me to. Oh, I feel like you're just like, just shut up, so I can go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, hold tight. Why is the mustard V-neck? Oh, because it's over here. You, know, you talk about the mustard V-neck first? Yep. Okay. Cause mustard V-neck really quick. Um, I was not able to get these in any other sizes besides small through um, extra large, but they are, this is the boyfriend tee that we may not be able to get anymore. Um, I know, like, I think we may sold out of the smalls. Yep. But we should have medium, large, and extra large. Yep. And like I said, I don't know how much more we'll be able to get of these boyfriend tees, so snag them up while you can. We got three larges, so. I got. I forgot I got a double order of them, because I wasn't sure if we'd get them again. Okay, Aztec print, I told you guys, lots of Aztec. So this, Casey picked this one out. She, she's kind of sad. Um, so actually we this is coming in another color too, but right now this is the color we have. Let's show you the, the print and the colors on it. Um, it's mauve colored and then the sleeves like this. Um, it's a raglan, so it definitely ha has kind of like baseball type tee. Um, this material here is like, it's not even a terry cloth. It's just a thicker structured um, fabric and not really thin, not clingy at all. Um, and then almost, like I told her it was kind of like a thin sweater material, but I don't know if you can tell. Um, but anyways, it's a, just a different material, like stretchier right here. The arms are running small, right? Mm -hmm. And so I could wear a small, I was modeling a small, but they're short and they were tied on my arms, but the body fit perfect. And then I would size up to medium and the body would be way too big but fit perfect in the arms so so it kind of depends I mean, on yeah, your body type Casey's totally. got guns now though so <laughs> everything well really. even like some of the stuff that's tied on your arms isn't tied on my arms yeah but probably because she's yeah yeah she's like gun she's show buffed out so. oh. <laughs> and they were a little bit short so you guys have to buy all of them because I don't get to well, the great, the other one that we have coming out though, it doesn't fit as it'll look it's different. a little different, which is weird. I mean, they're the same thing, but um, I picked them out and I love them. But and we brought in two colors even. I know. So, uh, but I the print, amazing. Yeah, love it. We get we have small through extra large, and they have a good flow, like right, a structured fabric. They're not super clingy, so they have a good flow. This one, this one, I actually tried on too. I only have three left. Of these? Mm -hmm. Okay. We actually do have, we have a medium that has a little black thread in the chest right here. So if anybody asks, um, it's not on there because it's a defect. Defect. So we've only sold two? I thought yeah. we sold more than that. Well, there's one. Gotcha. It's just like a string, but it's like right on the front. 
So, okay, this one, it is October, so we decided to bring out buffalo plaid, and we have two buffalo plaid things in the back, and then we have a ton on order, right? Yep. Um, lots of buffalo plaid, black and white also. We'll be bringing in some black and white, not just the red and white, or red and black, I mean. Okay, so this one, I, I think I tried it on before you did, and I was like, the arms are intense. Um, okay, so I'll show you what it looks like first. So it's got stripes right here. It's a really soft, like jersey, flowy material here. It's got sweater fabric right here, Sherpa right here, the um, jersey down on the sleeves. And this is what it looks like in the back. <laughs> this, um, so this, I tried to put on a medium. I put my arm in the medium, and I was like, my arm's not gonna fit in this medium. Um, because, I don't know if it's just because they're not, well, they're stretchy up here, but like, I don't think this part's not stretchy. I'm not really sure exactly what the deal is, but I couldn't, I didn't put my arm in a medium because I didn't want to get stuck. So I put a large on, but then the body was pretty big. And like, I, if you have a bigger chest than me, then it would fit perfect um, but for me it was like really loose right here in the large um, and pretty decent size in the body but the arms are fitted they're so cute but so fitted like I went to put on a small and I was like pull like yeah. I was a little nervous but I that's why I went I tried to put my arm in a medium I was like no no we're not gonna do that but body wise then body wise you can size down but arm wise it's just this it's not yeah. even this or this it's literally this which is super cute. It just it doesn't stress. So you just have to be prepared that the arms are a little fitted. So keep that in mind. But we love it. And it's super comfy. Make sure the arms fit you. All right. This is, do you guys remember last week we were talking about the yellow? In case you had this big debate about yellow, mustard, yellow. I don't. It's a light mustard. Yes. Not like dark. if you had actual mustard, like that you put on your hot dog. <laughs> so, I called it yellow just because I was sick of calling things mustard because we have a lot of mustard here. I'm kind of over it already. Um, we only have three of those left. Oh, we only have three of these left. Um, we have the burgundy one um, was, I think we released the burgundy one last week, right? Yeah. And, and then we, we have this yellow one. It's a uh, cream, it's got cream. Right there, I think it has, yeah, pockets, yellow. I just threw on a, a light, through a blue uh, slouchy tank underneath it so that it was, so that you could see it, like, just with something. But we talked last week, there's a lot of colors that you can mm -hmm. put with this. Um, we don't have any of the colors in basics. Speaking of basics, the long sleeve basics, we have short sleeve basics coming the, well, I think they're supposed to be delivered today, so we'll be checking them in. There's a lot, we have to process a lot of them, or do a lot to process them to get them in the system, but we will have short sleeve basics coming soon to pair with all of these cardigans that we have, so don't give up on us, I promise they're coming. We just, I didn't realize we were out of basics until we were out of basics, and then I just ordered all of the basics. So, they'll be here soon. Yeah, we only have one small, one large, and one extra large left. Like Danielle bought a medium in it. She bought some burgundy one too. <gasps> Kenzie. T minus 16 days till I see you guys. Yay. Yay. We have your, oh, speaking of Kenzie. <laughs> so this, this the Kenzie bought. <laughs> um, Aztec again. This is the last one. Oh. What size is it? Medium. Last one size medium. I love it. I took it home. It's got, it's super soft, like fleecy material. And we're calling it Aztec, but it's kind of like zigzags and stripes and not technically Aztec, but um, it is so cute and so soft and comfy. I put on a large and it was like loose, like comfy loose like this. Um, and so it's running, it's like loose with your normal size, but this is the very, very, very last one and we're not restocking them. So if you want it, it's medium. Snag it up. Oh, it went twice. I don't know why. Oh. Um, cowl necks. So I, if you like hoodies, but you can't wear cowl necks, or you can't wear hoodies to work, cowl necks are really good. I know that Brittany, um, well, Markham, <laughs> story. I <laughs> likes cowl necks because she can wear them to work because she can't wear hoodies to work. I really like them too because I feel like they're like a dress up hoodie but like kind of like still like comfy. Um, this one is all gray on the bottom and floral on the top. 
and this is not like overpowering by any means like the neck right here it's loose it's super comfy it's got the floral down here too um, I know that you were it was loose on you in a small I haven't tried it on yet but I would guess I could probably small I bet you I would probably wear a medium in this um, I it on, but I'm gonna guess loose with your normal size some people can size down and it's just a really lightweight cute little floral for the fall Said, yeah, you can't wait to wear it in super warm weather here. I'll just sweat. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, but you can wear it while you're here because it's cold here. Right? True. Yeah, you're going to be like in shock when you come here. From yeah. your beach days to your frost. It was, there was frost this morning. Yes. Yeah, Wes there was like, frost. Whoa, I need to start my pick up. Yeah. Right like, I'm, he wore three layers of today because oh, really? he's just going to be cold. Peyton wore her, her vest today. Speaking of kids, you know what my son did? Yes, he was at school at recess and he was squeezing a mushroom and it exploded and a puff of mushroom dust went up his nose and he freaked out because he's my kid and told the teacher he didn't feel good and so I had my mom go and pick him up and he went home and he wanted to play video games. Like absolutely not. If you went home you're not playing video games. So he thought that his stomach hurt, and I was like, well, if you clean up your nose, it's gonna affect your lungs, not your stomach. He said, well, I think I'm getting a cold. I was like, well, probably not, but okay. So then he ate, he ate some toast and laid around, and he had soccer practice at 5.30, and so by the time soccer practice came around, he was totally fine. But he thought that he was gonna die because he inhaled mushroom puff. I made his hip hurt. Oh yeah. yeah, he was really tired. His hip hurt and his, his stomach, stomach hurt, hurt, all from inhaling mushroom dust, but not his lungs. But then he's like, I think I'm getting a cold. And he, pretty soon he was like, I, I said, I think you're just freaking yourself out. And he goes, Yeah, I think I'm probably fine. Yes, yes, you are. His teacher called, and texted me last night and checked on him to make sure he was okay. So that was super nice of her. Sweaters. So this is just like a real kind of basic like pullover um the color is going to be funky but it's like a heathered black um just like i said just kind of real basic just throw it on but it has i hate that <laughs> but it has buttons on it right here and it's only on one side on right here in the center and it kind of dresses it up makes it super 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 cute so god i hate when black does that it makes me crazy hand sanitizer just squirted out <laughs> There. God, I hate when it does that. Anyways, um, it is a, a it's a sweater material, not super thick, but um, it is. It's a really actually soft sweater material. Um, I feel like it's it so soft. Yeah. The arms were kind of fitted, but the body was perfect, right? Right. I feel like we need to measure Casey's arms now that because everything is tied on her arms now because she's so buff. I'm not gonna wear anything. It's depressing. Or you just gain some weight. Well, you're trying to, but you need to gain some inches <laughs> back. Um, Anyways, super cute, soft, like just a really good throw on everyday type. You can wear it to work, you can wear it for anywhere. Throw a vest on with it. Darcy. Um, hi friends, don't tell the boss I'm watching at work, Kayla. You and me both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you work at Magic. Probably lots of you guys watching. We need subtitles. Actually, you know what? I tried to put subtitles on the videos, but it picks up the radio in the background. And it picks up the us. And they probably couldn't understand what we were saying anyway, but they tried to figure out our subtitles. Alrighty, alrighty. Double hoodies. Um, we're never going to stop bringing these in, I don't think, because they're amazing. We need the leopard one. Yeah. With this little leopard sleeve. I think your favorite. Oh. I let Katie go through and pick stuff out to bring in, so you can blame her for stuff. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I pick it out first and then she tells me what I we mean, really need. To bring some things that I am like Megan, you go through because like the tie dye. Like tie dye, I, we have tie dye stuff on order. But Casey's yeah. not a fan, so I just let Megan. So if you come in and tie dye stuff is in the back of the rack, you let me know because that's <laughs> what it's supposed to happen. <laughs> uh, okay, double hoodies. Like I said, we're never gonna stop bringing them in. Does this one go through extra large? Yes. Perfect. We have zero larges though. So. All right. So we have small, medium, extra large. Um, it is a. Third navy color 
um, white and navy stripes, and it's got the cute little thumb holes like most of our double hoodies do, and the back, and then it has striped and solid. And this little, usually it's a faux thing, but it actually opens up. So you can air out one armpit, not the other one, just one. Natalie, love tie-dye. I know, We're a lot of people do. We have a lot, yeah. we have it on, not a lot, but we have a few things on order. They're just, everything's back ordered, I feel like. Mm -hmm. And like, we'll get in, like we got in all the mustard stuff all at once. So we'll get in like all the buffalo plaid stuff all at once. Not like, but we have tons of different on order. Like everything comes in all at the same time. Um, anyways, uh, semi loose with your normal size. I haven't tried it on yet, but I, with these, sometimes I like to go up um, to an extra large in these just because I like my hoodies looser and not fitted around my stomach. Um, so I would say semi loose if you want it looser. Just size. I was a small and it felt. You're always a small. Yeah, but like it felt good. Like, well, I looked at the picture and you're not, it's not like baggy, but it's not fitted. So it's like a semi. semi yeah. Yeah. Like I would want it looser than that on right. me. Um, so I would size up, but if I wanted it to fit like that one, then I would wear just like my normal size. Natalie, and it's everywhere now. It is. Tie dye? Yeah. It's a hit. Okay, last one, and I'm pretty excited about this, so I wasn't going to bring in any more football stuff, but then I saw this, and we just absolutely had to bring it in, because um, it's camo, and it's cute, and it's got its little football jersey style. Um, so this is not a unisex size. It's actually a women's size, and it is normal size. Picture of Casey, she's wearing a small. It is fitted. I put it on. It is uh, large. It's fitted on me. I could go up to an extra large if I wanted it to be a little bit looser. Um, it's like a jersey, like a football jersey kind of. It has like the seam right here and um, the stripes, and it's got a V-neck and it's got destroyed um, graphic right here, and then the back right here. And it is a thicker uh, material. It's not like super thin. It's definitely structured. Um, I love it. I think it's so cute. And I think we only got like two of each size. But uh, small through to us. Yeah. Uh, but this is going to be the last football shirt that we bring in um, for the year. We're not going to bring in any more. We do have a handful up on our table um, of football shirts left. Uh, but this one is probably my favorite because <laughs> it's camo mm -hmm. and it's cute. I just really like the, the sleeves and all that stuff. Super cute. So what's your favorite this week, guys? Um, a lot of stuff. Well... I love this. Can't have it. It's probably my favorite. Um, the color. Can just cut again. Love this. Color. And I'm all about being plain Jane. Boring. Basic. It's <laughs> all about being basic. <laughs> so. I'm loving sleeves. Yeah. Funny how I, every year I feel like I change. Mm -hmm. <gasps> yeah, I like these. And the cardigans. That's kind of chance. color this year. Yeah, it looks so good on channel. Wait until you guys see the sugar we have coming in the next week or so. Yeah, I love burgundy too, though. It's good for uh, this is gonna be my third, our third holiday season. And, like the first year, it was buffalo plaid. <laughs> like a lot of it. A lot of it. <laughs> I it was all about it, and I still do love it. But last year was leopard, and this year I like solids. <laughs> Going basic. <laughs> Going basic. Anyways. Um, I was looking at uh, mine in my closet this morning, and I was like, hmm, I think we need more of those, because they're so cozy. I like the other, the, the yeah, I like the structure of them. Yeah. I need to get. We only have two left. The rose one? Everybody, but we just only get one small and one medium. Yeah. But you know, well, what we did is we sat down and we hashed all of our holiday sales and our swag bags, which are going to be 
on point this year. They're so awesome. So excited. Uh, swag bags this year. Yes. They're legit. Bad, like. Kinds. There's going to be one, which this is a long ways away. Well, actually, it's October. So, actually, it's less than two months away for Black Friday, Small Business Saturday. But there's going to be one bag for coming in the door, and then there's going to be another one for, um, like, a minimum purchase. And um, they're both pretty awesome. But we got all that stuff lined out, which is amazing because normally we're ordering stuff at the beginning of November, freaking out. Um, more Buster deal deals are going to be awesome. Some of the stuff that you guys went crazy over last year sold out in five minutes. We actually ordered four times more so everybody will have a chance so it's kind of what we're doing around here is just we're still bringing in I mean we're bringing in fall stuff it's finally getting cold here so we actually how many things that I put, do we have in the book coming in tomorrow we have oh, so many things <laughs> I have the cutest outfit for <laughs> Friday I don't think we're gonna I think we're gonna switch that outfit to the next week because I think it's too much to check in in that one day oh. we're gonna well, we'll do the shirt and the, the vest on and then we'll do that like on Tuesday, the dress and stuff. Well, anyways, we got some cute stuff coming, different stuff that we haven't had. Yeah, I had those at the other, at the small store. That was like four years ago. Oh, whatever. really? Mm -hmm. But that was, I mean, that was like, I was ahead of the, I was ahead of the uh, game. But <laughs> um, yeah, we have um, uh, air freshener, car air fresheners, fall scents. Don't come in today because we're not going to have them out, but we will have them out at, by the beginning of next week at the early or at the latest we have to take pictures and stuff. <laughs> so it depends on how long it takes us to get them all checked in but we do have fall scents coming in those I think tomorrow we have five boxes of stuff coming at least five boxes uh, we've got stuff trickling in all through next week we're really stocking up for stuff for here like to lot to get us through until Black Friday Small Business Saturday so Lots of stuff coming. If there's stuff that you guys are looking for or wanting, let us know. Um, I like that no way the third and crazy how time flies. Yeah. Yep. I can't believe that. Like, I can't believe we we got like lined out and ordered like this early, but then I can't believe that it's in less than two months. Black Friday and small business Saturday. Things are getting crazy. And can go to work? Well, you see now, you didn't. I have to go back to work now. Can't wait to see you guys mainly. I will see you soon. I love you. Um, and it's glitching. Well, that's our cue. Time to go. <laughs> I don't know what else to talk about. So, uh, um, anyways, drop in the comments if you guys want to see stuff. Holler. All that good stuff. And uh, have a good day. We'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.